Hey everybody, Mr. Regan here, and today we're going to be looking at the last and final question type uh, that's going to be asked of us on the summative. This is going to pull in again all of our understanding of uh, distribution, variation, and last but not least, how we go about reading the traits within different population graphs uh, along with uh, figuring out how the different histograms compare. So we're going to look at the question, we're going to break down the answers, and then obviously we're going to go over what the correct answer is based on what's in front of us with our histograms. So let's go ahead and look at the very first question. Uh, which statement below best describes the population? So each of these histograms represents a population. Let's see which one we feel best describes the populations. So there are more cheetahs with spots in graph one. There are more cheetahs with spots in graph uh, number two. That shouldn't say graph B, it should say number two. And there are equal amounts of cheetahs with spots in both graphs. So when we look at the graphs, when we look at the distribution of the traits, when we look at the variations seen, which of these best describes our populations? A, graph one has more cheetahs with spots. B, graph two has more cheetahs with spots. Or C, they have equal amount of cheetahs with spots. Take a second to hop into your slideshow here for task 10. Go ahead and put your answer in for question number four. Is it A, B, or C? We're going to go over the answers here in a second. So when you're done, obviously pause the video at this point so you can answer and then unpause it when you're ready to go over the answer. See how you do. So how do you think you did? A, B, or C? Let's say, look, best Description, there are more cheetahs with spots in graph one. Well, if we look at one compared to two, number one, we'll see that for variations, the first graph has two through nine. So we have two through nine in terms of the sizes of spots. Remember, each one of these bars represents how many cheetahs have those sized spots. So for example, if this was our first graph and we're looking at two compared to five, we'd say there's a lot less cheetahs in two than there is in five. Okay, notice we don't have numbers, but we can still say, hey, this bar compares to this bar uh, by looking at the height to determine the number of cheetahs. Uh, we know that we don't have any cheetahs in 10 either. So we have none in 1 and 10. Our, we have a large number in 5 and 6. And then they kind of get smaller as we go left or right on our histogram. Now, if we look at number 2, we notice that we don't have any variations in 1, 2, or 10. So if we're comparing this to this one, this one has more variations. On top of that, if we look at this, our variations 3, 4, 5, and 6 are pretty small compared to the rest of our uh, bars on this histogram. 8 and 9 are kind of tall, but they're not as tall as some of the other bars for like 4 and 7. So overall, if we're looking at these, we can say a few different things about the population. Number one... There are a lot of cheetahs with five and six, more cheetahs with five and six than anywhere else on this graph here. We can also say that two and nine, the lowest variations, are pretty similar to three and four, and that five, six, and seven um, are going to obviously be a little smaller than four and seven. And finally, we can say there's one more variation in here than there is here. So if we're thinking about which population has more cheetahs, the answer is going to be A. There are more cheetahs with spots in graph one. We have more variation, and the distribution for each of those traits is a lot higher, especially in four, five, six, and seven, than anywhere else in graph two. So though we don't have the numbers here, if we were to put numbers on the left side, maybe going from ones all the way to 100, we would be able to say, hey, based on all of the numbers that would be represented for each of these distributions, each of these bars, there's far more cheetahs here than there are here. So the answer is A. If you have questions how I came to that uh, conclusion or you need another example, make sure you check in with me. Otherwise, good luck with the rest of the slideshow.